We're back with more Popper. This time it's Rug Cascade Ponza. So most people are familiar with Gruel Cascade Ponza. And there is also the Jund version, but this is a blue version I saw played. So it's the same core game plan of Arboroth, Utopia Sprawl, and then sometimes Wild Growth to ramp into bigger things. Those big things usually being like Avenging Hunter for the initiative, Boarding Party, and Annoyed Altasaur. And then there's Generous Scent in the deck, because why not? There is also... Uh, and then there's the stone rain effects, which sometimes get played in more or fewer numbers depending on like how ponza e the deck is. So that's Thermokarst and Monvoli Acid Moss. And there's one Crimson Fleet Commodore in this version. So what does the blue get you? Well, it gives you Fire and Ice, which can also sort of act as a Ponza card because it can temporarily tap a land down. You also get Lorian Revealed. And finally, Moldrifter, which are all pretty big additions to the deck. Because one of the problems with Cascade Ponza is that you have all of this mana ramp, and then you have to find very specific, like you have to find one of your threats, right? And when you're in top deck mode, and you're drawing like stone rains and just other, and like mana ramp cards, that's not very good. So the blue spells give you the option to have card draw on the top end. Also, sometimes you'll have like a boarding party and avenging hunter, and then your opponent just kills it, and then you're top deck in garbage. So this again, just allows you to have more card draw to get back into the game. Uh, some other things, by playing blue, it gives us access to blue blasts in the sideboard. Pretty nice. And then some other notes. Uh, there's also like Scred here as a removal spell. Don't need four Screds because Fire and Ice counts as some of the removal. I've opted not to play a Volatile Fjord. So that would, if I played a Volatile Fjord, it would give Lorien Revealed the ability to cycle for a red source. But I think you really want the untapped green mana on turn one for all of your ramp. And you also want double green for Thermokarst and double green for Monvoli Acid Moss. So by playing another tap land, that would deprive all of the... And a tap land that's not green as well would further uh, risk not being able to just draw what you need on the first turn, which we're already increasing by adding the third color for the second dual land and for the, sec and for the uh, third basic of a different color. But that could be wrong. Maybe you want fewer than the deck after all, but I think you probably don't. And I think between Utopia Sprawl... Lorien, Ent, and one Volley Acid Moss. There's enough fixing here to consistently hit red. Aside from that, the sideboard is the four blue blasts, the four red blasts, the breath weapons for the go wide decks, and then Gorilla Shaman slash the Glamour for artifact decks. Now I see a lot of people, I don't know why, but when people are putting together their artifact hate package, I see Gorilla Shaman get left off a lot. And I think I understand the, the idea. So like this would oftentimes just be like four D Glamours or dust to dust or whatever it is. And I think I understand the idea. This is an instant. It can also hit enchantments. So like if all that glitters gets put on a creature that's not an artifact, then okay, you know, like this is better in that circumstance. There's also some decks where the enchantment part of the removal matters, which, you know, is not insignificant, like boggles or uh, walls putting freed from the real on Axebane Guardian. And I do think you, you want some cards that deal with enchantments, but... In a deck like this where there's so much mana ramp, I think not having even one copy of Gorilla Shaman is a mistake. This card, if not dealt with versus artifact decks, is just so good. Blowing up all of their artifact lands that aren't the indestructible ones, blowing up all their Springleaf drums and uh, Lembuses and like everything else that you can think of that you can blow up, this does. So I really think Gorilla Shaman should be in pretty much every, every red deck that wants artifact hate should be playing Gorilla Shaman. Anyways... Let's go ahead and jump into our league with uh, the Cascade Ponza deck. Oh, also, one last thing. There were some numbers I wasn't sure about. So, like, there's not the full, full four Fire and Ices. There's only three Avenging Hunters and one Crimson Fleet. Should Crimson Fleet not be in here? And this should just be four Hunters. Should the fourth Fire and Ice be here over, like, Scred? I only played three Mold Drifters. Should there be four Mold Drifters? I'm not sure. You can tinker around with the numbers. I have, like, one Wild Growth here. Some of that stuff you can tinker around with. And maybe some cards will prove to be better or worse than I'm thinking. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into our league. All right, we're on the draw. We've got two lands and Generous Scent to find the third one with a turn to... Let's see. Actually, we don't have a turn to ice if we play Rhymewood Fall. Well, if we play Rhymewood Falls first, we can do either ice or Ent, but not both. So, but you know, regardless, it's a, key, it's a very capable hand. So we'll keep. Mountain. All right. Well, if it's a basic mountain, we probably don't have time to, to mess around. So let's see. Um, let's just go ahead and play Rhymewood Falls. Pass. Synthesizer into Great Furnace. Tomb Raider. Yep, we don't have a lot of time. All right, I'm probably going to have to ice and then Thermokarst. So I'm probably going to have to ice their guy to not take damage. And then Thermokarst the Furnace. Hmm. 
because I don't have time to fetch a red source, play the red source tapped, untapped, play fire. So let's just let's just ice the, the source of damage. Cold off the rebirth. Ugh. Well, now I'm reconsidering this, but if I don't do this now, I'm just wasting my turn. Tomb Raider off the top. I think they're just too aggressive. We're just gonna lose. Oh, they have bush. No, no, no bushwhacker. At least no bushwhacker. All right, ice this dude. Drew another forest. So we take two. Well, I can thermal karst the great furnace, I guess. Takes them off the artifact at the very least. Blow that up. Bolt us. Yeah. Our hand's just too slow. We're just gonna die. Oh, they have bushwhacker. Okay. All right. Blue blasts. Uh, breath weapon. This is not a matchup where we want gorilla shaman because the only things we can shaman are furnace and synthesizer sometimes. All, we can also have blood token. Maybe we do want it. I don't know. Uh, I think the the LD is useless because they can operate on so few lands. So maybe, okay, I have a free spot then. So yeah, let's just go ahead and bring in a Gorilla Shaman in that case. All right, this is fine. Like the fact that they operate on so few lands means that stone raining them is not helpful. Well, we've got no lands in our hand. So Maul, we once again don't have red. This is really rough. All right, keep this. Put back Gorilla Shaman. All right, land go. Furnace, Tomb Raider. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, that would be nice. All right, let's just go ahead and tap their land down on their upkeep. Ice your land. They just have the instant speed burn again. No, they're just floating it for no reason. Okay, furnace. Really need to draw red it's for, for this stuff. We get attacked. All right, well, we can blast this. This would be actually one of the times where Lorienning for Volatile Fjord would be helpful, which we can't do, unfortunately. All right, island cycle, rhyme wood, play this. Let's just blue blast this now while they're tapped out and then back to them. Cold Otha into a bushwhacker. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to draw an untapped mountain is basically the only thing we can do. Well, it's not an untapped mountain, so evoke Moldrifter. Trigger, draw. Okay, Utopia Sprawl, name red. Oh, we're at five. Oh, we're just dead. Never mind. Yeah, red needs to get banned. What do you mean red needs to get banned? I mean, something out of red needs to get banned. My choice would be Synthesizer. I think red is so insanely good that if you're not playing, like if your goal is to win games and you're not playing a red deck in Popper, you are just objectively incorrect. Anyway, uh, we can't keep this. We're on the draw. We can keep this because of Ent. Okay, barely. Keep putting away uh, one of the Acid Mosses. Blue Fairy Seer. Cool. 1-1. One, one. Oh, we drew Rhymewood Falls? All right. Well, play that. Island, swing. Are we getting ninja'd? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Plays Fairy Seer. All right, we're just going to fire both of them. They top decked both cards. We drew another fire. Very nice. All right, fire here, here. Kill both your dudes. Back to you. Very miscreant, back to us, holding up counter magic. All right, well, let's forest cycle the Ent, grab another forest, play the forest, pass to them. Flash in Brine Barrow Intruder. So this gives them of one mind. I don't think it's worth it to just fire the fairy miscreant though, just for that. And indeed it's of one mind. All right, swing, swing. I'm not gonna do anything in response. I'm just gonna see if they ninja. All right, no ninjas. Okay, well, if they're not doing that, yeah, let's just cycle Lorien. Grab an island. Ooh, Utopia Sprawl. Green, Sprawl here. What do I name with this? I have double blue already. Do I need double red for any reason? I don't think I do. Not really. I am a little short on green. Yeah, let's just green. Okay, so, I mean, they're obviously representing counter magic, but what can I do? One volley, target an island. It's counter magic spell stutter. All right, we get it into play tapped, right? So grab the highland. Back to them. We have six mana. We're one short of annoyed altasaur. All right, swing. No ninjas. Back to us. Okay, so... I guess they just don't have like anything going on here. This comes in tapped, right? Okay, so let's play the da, 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 Monvolia and Island. All right, it resolves. Grab a land and then just pass. I'm not using fire or ice because I. it's much more important to try to kill a ninja or something. Mm -hmm. All right, now they're ninjing. Sure. Ninja, fire the ninja. Ninja dies. All right, so they've got Brine Barrow Intruder in their hand and they've gone shields down. I can play Altasaur or Avenging Hunter. I'm not gonna play Hunter because they have a flyer. So let's play Altasaur. Tap, 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 Altasaur, Cascade. Cascading in two, Moldrifter. What a hit. Moldrifter trigger, draw. Oh my God, we draw good stuff too. I mean, if I were them, I would just concede. Like I can't think of any way that they can get out of this. All right, let's just keep blowing their lands up. Tap, 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 Acid Moss your land, Counterspell. Tap, 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 thermocarster land, combat, swing. All right, they're at 12. All right, we got game one. So red blast and probably breath weapon, considering all their creatures are puny. What is bad? They do operate on 
fairly low land counts. Like, I don't think anything in their deck even costs them more than two mana, unless they're playing, like, Azure Fleet Admiral or something. But for the most part, I think our Stone Rains are probably not going to be effective. So let's cut let's cut all the Thermocarsts and three of the Monvolis. I prioritize Monvoli because it's also a ramp spell. And then the rest of the cards are useless. So let's do that. All right, game two, we're on the draw. All right, looks good to me. Turn one, Miscreant. All right, Arbor Elf, back to them. Swing, no blocks. Ninja, mm-hmm. Island, very miscreant. All right, is playing Crimson Fleet here good? They just steal it, even if I block with this guy, although I can attack them pretty well. And if they bounce this, I just replay it. If I don't name blue, then I can't Lorien, but that's fine. It's just like, what am I following up with is the, is the big question, I guess. Hmm. If I don't do this, I'm not doing anything else. I'm just playing Utopia Sprawl and passing. That seems bad. All right, tap this, Sprawl here, red. Tap, untap, tap, Crimson Fleet. They're mono blue, so they can only just snap it, right? Which wouldn't be so bad. Hydro Blast. Well, okay, Hydro Blast. I didn't think consider that. Boy, is that bad. And they're holding a fairy back to block with. I just hate everything about these Monarch and Initiative cards. Like, it's so bad when you can't deal with them. It feels miserable when you get it taken away and then you can't get it back. They just feel absolutely miserable to play with or against, regardless. Monarch, yep. Can't take it back, unfortunately, and I can't afford to attack with my Arbor Elf, so I have this tap land, this tap land. All right, if I'm going to cycle the Ant anyway, am I am I going to cycle the Ant? No, I'm going to cycle Lorien Revealed and put a blue land into play, because I can make five mana, and none of it's blue. All right, cycle Lorien, grab Rhymewood Falls, play Rhymewood Falls, and then we pass. Hopefully we can overpower this. Maybe I shouldn't have played Rhymewood, because if, I, if I'd gotten a tap land, then I could have played Altasaur. I guess I'm playing Ent, because it doesn't get blasted. Or maybe I'm playing Boarding Party. I don't know. They're just attacking with the fairy. Sure. Monarch, they draw a card. Boarding Party potentially gets it back if they don't... The problem is if they just counter it. Oh, man, Fire and Ice was such a good draw, eh? Just jamming into a counter spell seems also terrible. Hmm. It's really just a question of do I play Boarding Party or do I play Ent? Let's play Boarding Party. Cascade. Cascading in two. Arbor Elf. Yeah, sure. Cast Arbor Elf. Of course they have Spell Stutter. Yeah, Spell Stutter counters the Arbor Elf. They got another counter, right? Counterspell. That's why I didn't play Ent, because I figured they had regular Counterspell, and then if they just counter the Ent, it's a problem. Hopefully we run them out of Counterspells, but the fact that they can Monarch an extra card every turn is not looking good in that regard. Very Miscreant, draw a card. It's four, five, six, seven. If I draw an untapped land, I'll play Ent and hold Fire and Ice up. If I don't draw an untapped land, I'll play Altasaur. Swing, swing. Uh-huh. We take three, they get to loot. Loot it away, Spell Pierce. Sure. Not an untapped... Oh, it's a Venging Hunter? That's also bad, though, because it just gives them the initiative. Yeah, let's play Ent. No, let's play Altasaur, sorry. Tap, untap, tap, 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 tap. Altasaur, Cascade. Cascade and Lorian revealed, sure, cast that. Lorian resolves, what about Altasaur? No, counter spell. All right, over to them. How much mana do I have? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I have Lorian for another land, I have nine mana, and that's enough for Altasaur plus Fire Ice. That's probably worth it. Or I can just Ent for another land too. So Swings, Ninja. I can't believe we're just going to lose on the board because I can't resolve anything because the extra card a turn means they never run out of counter spells. <sighs> and they pick up the Fairy Miscreant, which they can replay for one mana and draw another card. Yep. All right, let's just cycle this. Grab a forest. I drew a forest anyway. All right, tap this, untap this, tap this, tap, tap, tap. Altasaur, Cascade. Cast Monvoli Acid Moss on the land, sure. Grab a forest. Altasaur resolves, question mark. All right, attempt to pass to them. All right, let's fire uh, some of their air guys, I guess. Blue Blast, sure. Play as a land. They can just keep swinging and then, yeah, block here. We take five and go to two. Oh, more ninjas, for God's sake. Yep, we're at one. And it doesn't matter, I can't deploy enough creatures. So it's basically Dragon Breath off the top and they can't have a counter for it. What, you have Mutagenic Growth in your deck? What? Okay, sure. All right, well, it's just like... You can't play an initiative or monarch card unless you're 100% sure your opponent cannot steal it or you just lose. I lost that game 100% because I played Crimson Fleet. So the correct move was apparently play Utopia Sprawl and just pass without doing anything. No ramp. Like we can Lorien for blue and evoke Mold Drifter on turn three. All right, sure. Keep. Forest, go. Island. Fairy Seer. Scries two to the top. Island cycle. Grab. What's the odds I play something that costs two that is fire? All right, let's grab an island. I mean, if, if it's fire ice, I would actually play that. All right, it wasn't. Play this. Over to them. Swing. Ninja. Yeah. Ninja the deep hours. They get to draw an extra card every turn because we don't have an answer to this because we have no red mana. 
Oh, thank you so much, deck. So now I have to play this instead of evoking Moldrifter. And then they get to have mana up to protect their guy. So they get to draw another card and have mana up to protect their guy. So the Red Blast isn't going to resolve. So we're going to lose the game. Because they decided it's cool to have two mana draw engines. Ninja of the Deep Hours is also total bullshit. Moon Circuit Hackers, at least like you get the first draw free and, and okay, sure. But then it just loots after that. This guy is, if you can't block or deal with this, then it's just an extra card every turn and fuck you. All right, man, do I want to evoke this? I'm not doing anything else, right? I guess I'm evoking it. Evoke Moldrifter. And then I guess I just try to upkeep Blaster, dude. Uh-huh. Draw. We drew Utopia Sprawl. Okay. Well, over to them. Upkeep. Red Blast. Yeah, the idea they don't have a counter spell here is just laughable. They've got Hydro Blue, Spell Stutter, Counter Spell in their deck. Like, there's no way they don't have one. Yeah, Spell Stutter. I also, these cards are fucking bullshit, too. Counterspell and removal on creatures is total horseshit. The only time that's acceptable is when it's something like Ravenous Chupacabra, where it's like four mana, sorcery speed, the stats are terrible. Like that is the only time it's acceptable. One, one flyer for two, not that bad. Sprawl, name blue, tap this, tap this, tap this, tap this. Cast Moldrifter. All right, Moldrifter resolves, we draw. Back to them. I'll trade with Ninja if they attack with that. Oh, they're going to hit with everything? Yeah, all right, trade with Ninja. More, oh, that guy, so our guy doesn't trade. Cool. All right, well, play this. This is on blue, right? Sprawl here, name red. Tap, 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 Altasaur. I would really like to wait a turn to hold up Red Blast, but I just can't wait. We're taking way too much damage. All right, we cast something pretty good. Hit an end. One of the things with this deck is I do think you want to jam in as much like channel, cycling, uh, you know, all of those cards as you can where you have low you like low mana uses for the cards and then you can cascade into big stuff later like increase your number of cascade hits i'm surprised these both resolved snap one back to my hand okay they just have two snaps and they still have six cards all right so we take another five and go to six and they draw an extra card unless they have ninjas in which case we take even more and draw more cards we're at six they're at seven cards they've multiple mana open of one mind to draw more cards plays another land and then they have double counter spells open all right Oh my god. All right. Let's play Altasaur. Cast Altasaur. Cascade Trigger. Reveal Avenging Hunter. I'm I'm going to cast it, even though they can steal. I'm not going to not cast it. Oh, we get the initiative. Grab a mountain. I've played my land for the turn, right? I can't play this mountain. Counter spell. Red Blast that. Oh, and they counter back with Spell Pierce, of all things. Played my land. Yeah. Okay. So I can only block the ninja, and they get to steal the initiative. Actually, no, I can block Brine Barrow. Oh, come on. The third snap? Are you kidding me? And they've got the ninja to deal. Oh, and mutagenic growth. Sure. I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to do? They just had every answer imaginable with fucking free pump in fairies, which I still don't understand why mutagenic growth is in the deck, but it is. Was I supposed to mulligan the hand so I had a faster hand maybe? I don't know. Okay, I'm getting too angry again. Let's calm down. Two matches down to total horseshit. Doesn't matter. On to round three. I wonder how many videos in a row I'm releasing where I don't even 3-2. It's a lot. There's probably a good two weeks or more of just constantly losing. All right, we're on the draw. We don't have blue mana, but we can Lorien for it. So this is fine. Fjord, so it's blue-red fairies. Okay. Or I guess it could be Jeskai Ephemerate as well. Let's just play Arbor Elf. Scred, yeah, I figured something like that was coming. Um, just play Highland and then cycle Lorien. Wanted to ask if you thought about ever revisiting your guide to every deck in for standard. No, I'm not going to make any standard videos. Standard's a dead format. All right, grab an island. Um, yeah, let's just hold up removal. I guess I, I'm not going to evoke Moldrifter. Let's just wait on that. Cycles Lorien. Oh, actually, it's so bad if they just drop Crimson Fleet here, isn't it? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Or Az or Azure Fleet. I didn't even think about that. I should have iced their land. Yep. Comes the Monarch, Scred. And I'm multiple turns away from being able to deploy a creature. Jesus Christ, the Monarch is such a horrendous mechanic. All right, play this. Yeah, I can't do anything. Back to them. I guess, you know what? Let's just upkeep their land at this point. Ice. All right, so we're going to have to force our way past two draws a turn out of the counter spell deck, but what can you do? All right, so I can play Ent here. I guess that's what I'm doing. Lose focus, not even counter spell. Opponent deploys Murmuring Mystic. Oh, so we have zero shot at being able to steal. Absolutely no shot whatsoever. Cool. Untap land. That's the only sh No, not on tap land. All right. Well, I wanted to play Ent, but I think honestly I need to play Moldrifter and try to hit more lands because I'm not getting through without Trample. So cast Moldrifter, draw. All right. Utopia Sprawl over here. 
and we need double blue for Lorien, so let's just name blue. Lorien revealed, draw three, make a bird, and then plays an island, and draw. I mean, Thermokarst does not help at this point, so four, five, six, seven, Altasaur, Cascade. Oh, we hit board and party. All right, Cascade, Avenging Hunter. Wow, that is quite the sequence. You know what the crazy part is? I'm not sure even that is good enough. Initiative, initiative. All right, we're still missing the mountain out of our deck, so let's grab that. And this resolves? Do they just not have a counter? Okay, they don't have a counter. Excellent. Um, I'm definitely attacking with Boarding Party. Am I also attacking with Mole Drifter? Yes. Swing, swing. My thinking is, if I hold this to block, they can still steal anyway because they have Bird Illusion. So this at least forces Bolt for Cascade for the Boarding Party. Then they can still force... Like, I have to get through all these Bird Tokens regardless, so... And not attacking doesn't prevent them from just stealing any stealing the initiative anyway, so I may as well just attack with everything. What did I say? It may not even be good enough, although I do have 11 power of trample in play. All right, block here. So now they get the initiative. They have so many lands that Scred is lethal on everything as well. Ter terror? What? All right, well, how much mana do I have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I'm Drifter now, I'm not Drifting into anything that's relevant. Man, it's like I attack, then they just like scred one of my guys, block the other one. Any spell produces a bird, which means Drifter doesn't get through. But what else am I going to do? Let's attack. What did I say? Cascade into Cascade into Avenging Hunter is not even going to be good enough to win on this board because of the Monarch. Swing with everything. They have main deck breath weapon. Okay. So it kills their birds and it kills my Drifter. Sure. Did they have a second one and they didn't realize it's not going to kill Avenging Hunter? That's what I'm guessing. Bolt targeting Altasaur. Uh-huh. So Altasaur dies and then they can just trade with Avenging Hunter on their terror. And then, oh no, they have more removal on top of that? Scred. Sure. Uh-huh. Cool. Well, I can't win with what's in my hand. So I guess I play Drifter. Oh my god, how do I even win on this board? I don't think, like, what sequence of draws gets me there? I just have to draw, like, all gas the whole game, basically. So tap this. Uh, so they definitely have another cannonade or another uh, sweeper in their hand. Does that matter if they kill Moldrifter with that? I guess let's get Ent into play so that they can't just kill us, actually. All right, play the Ent. Oh, they got another counter spell. What the fuck do I even do here? They have an insane board, 7-7 seven, seven Terror. We're taking a ton of damage. They also get to trap us next turn. I, I can't think of anything that's going to get me out of this. I think we're just absolutely dead. Didn't I say, how insane is it that you can go Altasaur, Cascade into Boarding Party, Cascade into Avenging Hunter, and it doesn't fucking matter because your opponent had the Monarch for multiple turns, so you're just going to lose anyway. Uh-huh. How much are we taking here? 11? And then trap next turn, we go to three, and then we're just dead to bird tokens. Ugh. All right, let's play. What can I even hit? Uh, nothing. Nothing is going to save me here. All right. Tap, 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 tap. Uh, Altasaur. Cascade. Thermokarst. All right, we're done. I don't know what I could have hit off of that. Uh, nothing. Okay, so, I mean, Fire and Ice is not really that good against them because their threats are bigger than what it can kill. So I guess Red Blast. I don't want it to bring in Breath Weapon just to sweep the birds. So it's just Red Blast. So what are we cutting besides Fire and Ice? I'm inclined to say it's one of the Stone Rain effects. Let's just say cut Thermokarst. Maybe even Fire and Ice is better than Thermokarst because it at least draws. I don't know. Uh, man, this tap land. All right, keep Forest, Arbor Elf. I mean, I guess I could have brought in Blue Blast for their removal, but that didn't seem very good. Okay, tap land, and then we're just gonna, I guess, hit them. Swing. Scred our dude. Play the tap land. All right. Ent cycle for a forest. Play this. Thermocarst to land. Back to them. Two mana for Agra Bolas, revealing counterspell. Oh man, we drew red? Okay, well, we can't resolve the Mole Drifter through this anyway, so let's just evoke this. Trigger. All right. Play this. Play Arbor Elf. Over to them. Land number three. No attack with the auger. Kind of surprised. We drew Crimson Fleet, which we can't protect. So let's just play Moldrifter and then protect it with Mold Blast. Tap, tap, tap. Untap this. Tap this. Blue. Hardcast Moldrifter. I mean, you should probably try to counter it. Even if you understand that, yes, I have Red Blast open. Lose focus with Replicate. Oh, cool. I can't even counter that. Awesome. All right, then. I mean, that's fine. But it's like, man, you have that too. Come on. Ponder... So if we don't draw an untapped land, we can't resolve Ent. If we don't... Uh, hmm. I guess let's see what happens. Bolt our guy. Yep. Attack with Augur. I don't know why they didn't attack with Augur last turn. I mean, it's a land. Back to them. It's a red land. I cannot... I can't deploy the Crimson Fleet, though. They have a creature in play. So, like, if they counter and I counter back, they do... Okay, well, we have to try to hit this. Even though it doesn't matter, because Counterspell just blasts it. 
why is this card legal either? Why is a one mana five five acceptable? And they're just gonna let it go to hold counter spell up, sure. Man, so many things from Popper need to go. Every single Monarch and Initiative card. Let's play End. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? Do I even play End? Yeah, you know what? I play End. I was thinking, do I just actually land Cycle and then play Altasaur? But I mean, the counter spell is gonna hit something regardless. So let's just play End. We'll draw land at some point. Yeah, so many things from Popper need to go. Every single Monarch and Initiative card. Terror, Sticker Goblin, Glitters, Synthesizer, so much. Oh, the fucking, yep. I mean, I guess I can technically take it with Crimson Fleet, but who cares? They're leaving this guy back? Man, we drew Boarding Party? All right. Boarding Party, Cascade, probably for that exact reason. One Volley Acid Moss, blow your dual land up. Floating a red, sure. Grab a four. Well, we're not gonna not attack. I assume this is just gonna die. No? All right, well, so we're trading with Azure Fleet, probably. Yep, trade with Azure Fleet. Well, we've got Altasaur next turn. We can also just play Crimson Fleet and take it back if they don't have a counter. No attacks. Monarch, draw another card. Oh boy. All right. Well, we're going to play this instead and hold Red Blast up. Counter, counter back, resolve, take the Monarch. Not that I think I can even keep it because I assume this is going to get killed. Yep. Scred. Mm hmm. Lorien revealed. Sure. So then they attack, take it back. Three cards in hand, all, any of which can be counters. All right. Altasaur. Da, da, cascade, Avenging Hunter, Brainstorms in response. Avenging Hunter resolves, initiative. All right, get the island, resolve this question mark. All right, back to them. I believe we've established this already, but in the battle of Monarch versus initiative, Monarch wins. Satyr's cunning, what? Escape Satyr's cunning. That's uh, an interesting card to be sure. New tech I discovered against Monarch, especially against Gardens and Fairies slash Terror. All right, so I don't think Forge matters. They have seven lands, so Scred kills anything. So I'm pretty sure we just want to scry. All right, bottom two lands, definitely. Another Lorien, all right. Blue, blue, da, 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 Lorien. So they can steal regardless, so we should just start slamming them. Actually, they can't if I scred, but then I have... To, no, okay, let's just start slamming them. Combat, swing, trigger, get the Monarch. Monarch trigger on end step, Altasaur. All right, we may be back in it because our board's better. We also have more mana than they do, I think. They have seven, we have uh, nine. I'm not going to scred anything here. I'm just going to wait until they have... Until the end step. If they don't play anything, I'll scred Augur. So take, everything gets taken. Another Augur. Trigger revealing what? Scred. All right. If it's Murmuring Mystic, then I scred that. Crimson Fleet. Okay. Double Monarch. Sure. Scred our guy. Very well. Trigger. Scred this dude. Okay. So, uh, first of all, Utopia Sprawl, because why not? What do I even name with this? Probably blue. All right. Who has the initiative? So they have the initiative currently. I can't steal it without avenging into these guys. They only have one mono open, which could be another spread. So let's boarding party. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I could also avenging hunter plus Lorien revealed this turn, but let's just boarding party. It gives us another attacker and like, all right, cast this on, uh, I guess this is technically a land, right? Or a forest rather. All right, cast that on there. Name red. Boarding party, combat, attack, block there. Taking five from this dude. Trigger these things. We get them back. I have four mana left over. I can't play anything with that. So this comes back. Uh, I want to... Oh, I'm, I bypassed trap, right? All right, let's stash. Oh, I can play another initiative. Trigger, stash. Then we go tap this, tap this, tap this, tap this. Hunter, trigger. Move to the next room, make a skeleton. Then we draw. Then it's back to them. This has been quite the game. Five mana, four mana, five mana. Lorien revealed, all right, that's a good sign. Bolt the skeleton, swing, may as well block one of these. What is their actual out though? What are they hoping will turn the game around at this point? Not sure. I mean, I think we're just gonna win this game, but we still have a third one to go, right? So then this stuff comes back. They scribe two cards to the bottom because they've got one red open to kill something and they can block this and then they still take lethal from Avenging Hunter, right? Blue, oh, they have terror, right? Terror brainstorm so they've used two screds no three screds and two bolts monarch bolt the dot the guy i did consider not blocking the satyr token for that exact reason but i was thinking like what can they do that's like an issue all right another utopia sprawl enters the fray name this one's on red this one's on blue 
Let's name blue, blue, blue. All right, tap this, tap this, tap this, tap this, tap this. Altasaur, Cascade, in DeLorean revealed, draw some cards, resolve this guy. We didn't hit anything with haste, so go to combat. Swing, swing. Terror does trade with whatever it blocks, so I assume this blocks here, this blocks here, right? Yeah, a lock a block. All right, Acid Moss the land. Tap this thing, and this, and this, and this. Grab a forest, back to them. So they've used three bolts, three screds, right? Five mana, Lorien revealed. It's the battle of the busted supplemental set cards. Murmuring Mystic, and they've got one mana left off their stash to make a bird, but that's not enough to stop Altasaur from just slamming them. I guess they have one block, maybe. Oh, they have mana left over? Oh, Scred the Altasaur, sure. Seder attacks, we go to 14, and then they Monarch trigger, get a card. We get to take our turn unmolested at least, although we have nothing really to do here. What am I out so far? I'm down. So this is two boarding parties. So I've got two more boarding parties. Those are the only things with haste. I want to try to kill these. So it's better if I draw more spells than if I just play Moldrifter and it still gives me the option to play Moldrifter. All right, this one's blue. So tap this, tap this, tap this, tap this. Oh, not that one. Tap this one. This one's also blue, right? Hang on, let's back up. So tap this one, tap this one, tap this one. Lorien revealed. We drew Scred and we're missing the other one. So I Scred this, they still have the bird to block. If I Lorien again, how much mana do I have left? I only have two Screds, right? Oh, I've already lost one of them and I sided out Fire and Ice. Hmm. I'm definitely Screding that, so let's Scred that. And then I have two, three, six, seven mana left over. I could take them off of red completely. That seems kind of good. If I just go Thermokarst Monvoli, I don't know. Combat, swing here, block with the bird. But then I'm set, then I have less stuff in play. I think that's maybe fun. I don't know. Tap, 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 tap. Let's just get Ent into play. Let's just make sure we have a board. Make a food. I think it's just more important to try to steal. So they make a skeleton, ponder. How many avenging hunters are we out? They chose not to shuffle. We're out one, two. We have one left. Another murmuring mystic. Monarch trigger, draw a card. Annoyed Altasaur, you say. Tap, 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 tap. Annoyed Altasaur, Cascade, into Acid Moss. All right, target of Mountain. They float a red source, or a red. All right, grab an, a forest. Resolve this dude, or try to at least. Counterspell, triggering this thing. Yeah, none of our guys have trample. All right, let's fizzle that red mana, or try to. All right, I mean, it doesn't matter if they hit, like, swing, and they can trade the skeleton for the boarding party, and then just chump block Ent. Yep, two, three, four, five, six mana remain. I'm actually, I actually can't double Thermokarst. How important is it to get them off of this red mana? They're gonna throw into a gigantic thing now. Right, tap this one, tap this one, tap this one, tap this one. Evoke Mold, or not evoke, cast Moldrifter. Draw, lay a land. Over to them. All right, the final room revealed all this stuff. They found Terror or Augur, either one. Yeah, 8-8 eight, eight Terror. Bolts to the bottom. Brainstorm, make another bird so we can't steal it. For God's sakes, 8-8 eight, eight Terror is an issue. Augur Bolas, revealing a bolt. The last bolt in their, wait, revealing bolt, huh? Bolt, yeah. Didn't that go to the bottom of their deck? Or do, or do you shuffle on the final room? I don't know. Oh, you shuffle, it doesn't go to the bottom. Maestro Theater, do I just try to deck them at this point? I don't think I can overcome their board. So they're drawing two cards to turn off the Monarch. Four mana, Azure Fleet, sure. Swings with Murmuring and this Seder token. All right, fine. I can't block the stupid Terror is the thing. All right, pop the food. Red Blast, I can Red Blast this and pay for Ward, which seems like something I have to do because I can't deal with this. Yeah, Red Blast. Oh, I can't target it because it has Hexproof until their next turn. Okay, so I have to upkeep Blast it. Oh my God. All right, um, fuck me, what, what, am I, what am I doing here? I'm playing Boarding Party. So these are both on blue, right? Yeah. Tap this, tap this, tap this, tap this. This Boarding Party, Skade Trigger. Moto seems to be having problems. Cast Wild Growth on a land, sure. Then this thing resolves. I have no attacks, that's fine. We have 11 cards in our deck. Acid Moss, the Mount, Hank, let me think about this. So I've got, I have to have red plus ward payment to pay for this, right? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana remaining. I really wanna take them off the red source, although they're practically out of red cards anyway, but whatever. All right, so tap this and tap this. Acid Moss targeting the Snow Mountain. 
forest into play, and then we just pass, and then blast us on upkeep. Yeah. So trigger, red, blast your terror, pay the ward. Oh, come on. Don't have an answer. Come on. <sighs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So now what? I'm double blocking terror and hoping they don't have an answer for that. Do they have a red source left in their deck? Snow-covered island. No, they don't. All right. Well, oh, they do have another red source. It doesn't matter. We're going to blow that up. Swing, swing, swing. I mean, we have to trade with this, right? Nope. Not attacking. I would definitely attack. Yeah, attack. All right. Block here. Trade with this terror. Hopefully. Okay. Terror's dead. We have boarding party, which doesn't block any of their flyers, which is an issue. Red blast. All right. The murmuring mystic just countered. How many? What are, what are they out? How many counter spells are they down? I wish I could sort this by AZ order. One, two, three. They've lost three counter spells, and then they have like other counters that might be in their deck. It's not going to get ever better than this, right? I guess if I do it on their upkeep, it's better because then if they counter in response, the new bird can't attack. So blue, blue, this one. Lorien revealed, cast. We're almost like out of cards, right? All right. Play this forest. Tap, 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 tap. Uh, island. Avenging hunter. Blue, blue. They had the last counter spell. We're going to counter that back. Counter this back. Avenging Hunter? Trigger. Initiative. Final room. We have six cards left in our deck. All right. Grab Altus. No, grab Ent, right? I don't think I can get through with trample damage. Oh, wait, no. The Altasaur becomes three counters bigger, right? Yeah. Okay. So Altasaur, it's really big. All right. Let's tap this and this and Thermokarst the Red Land. And then let's tap this and this. And Thermokarst another land, because why not? And then let's play an elf. Do I attack? If they trade with Azure Fleet, that's fine. If they block with a bird, it's essentially the same thing. All right, combat. Swing with boarding party. Blocks with Azure Fleet, sure. It gets three damage out of the way. All right, we have a 9-8 Trampler. Opponent plays Augur. Revealing. So we're drawing, revealing Preordain. Okay, so we're drawing one card a turn. They're drawing two cards a turn, and they have six cards in their deck. So they're going to deck up before we will. Preordain make a bird. So it's actually better that I don't attack them now, because if I do, I steal the monarch, I think. I have to do the math. Talarian Terror. Okay, it's definitely better that I don't attack them now. They have five cards left in their deck. Birds! Swing! So they can take the initiative. Sure, block a bird. So then they steal the initiative, and they forge a creature, and then they're going to trap us. So they're going to try to kill us before they deck out, I guess. What do I even have left in my deck? I have a boarding party and an Ent in my deck. Monarch. Okay. Trap, we go to nine. They have some amount of stuff. And then they go draw for turn three cards, draw on end step from the Monarch. They have two cards left in their deck. So I have to survive two turns. If I attack, they just block and then we're done on the backswing. All right, so, because they just block with terror and like something else. Take no damage, we lose Altasaur. All right, tap, 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 tap. Boarding party, cascade. Opt not to cast, what, what happens if I don't cast it? It just goes back in the deck, right? Cancel, no, don't cast it. All right. Boarding party, and then we're just not going to attack. Oh, wait. Oh, they can bypass. If they don't bypass trap, they draw. So that will kill them. So they have to goad? No, they are trapping. All right. So we go to nine. Combat swings with the birds. Block here. Is it may draw or do you have to draw? Okay, you have to draw. So then monarch trigger. All right. I mean, I guess I'll play an elf. Play elf. And back to them. Right, because if I attack, this is 14 power. And then they have 7, 10, 13. Yeah, okay. So it's just, it's just better not to attack. Also, the Monarch's going to kill us. Initiative, they go down. They have to draw. All right. Then they draw for turn. And then if they don't kill us right now, they're dead on the end step. So combat, we go. Uh, I guess I can just chump this, right? Chump, block, 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 block. So then we go to three. They have to draw off the Monarch and then they die. Insanity. We're still not done though. We've got another game to play. <laughs> okay. So I have to just not lose in three minutes. Our clock is worse than their clock. Fuck. So only early game stuff matters. So Thermokarst matters and Fire Ice matters. End game stuff doesn't matter. What is end game stuff? Oh man, I just have to not lose to the clock, right? So no, you know what? So Fire and Ice doesn't matter. Okay, so don't have Fire and Ice and just have, uh, I don't know, Mold cut a Mold Rifter. All right. I forgot we weren't on the finale. All right, this is fine. Keep. Oh. I have a stop on their upkeep. All right. F6. Forest. Topia Sprawl. Name red. Back to them. Ponder. All right. Tap, tap. Thermokarst. F6. On the clock. Tap, 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 tap. Crimson Fleet. F6. Brainstorm. F6. Maestros. All right. Tap, tap, tap. 
one volley, kill this, grab, blue, play this, combat, swing, opponent Ash Barons for the thing, plays the, the mountain, bolt, sure, cycle this thing, grab another forest, untap, play this, how much are we at? Altasaur, Cascade, cast this on here, blue, blue, Augur, revealing, preordain, all right, tap, 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 boarding party, Cascade, kill your land, grab this, elf, combat, swing. All right. I mean, we got the game, but it's kind of, that was kind of a, a crap game after all that, but after like that second game, but it's fine. I'm kind of shocked. A game that involved just wrestling over control of the Monarch and the initiative, and it was actually fun. The first time that's happened. All right. We're on the play for match number four. This hand's great. Keep. All right. Forest, Sprawl, name Blue, back to them. Witch's Cottage. So it's probably Gardens given this. All right. Tap this, Sprawl. Actually, I should have cycled Lorien and played a tap land. Oh, well. Uh, naming... We're going to Lorien for an island, so name green. If it's Gardens, they got no shot because we're going to turn to Avenging Hunter. Troll, Woodland Chasm, cycle this. Island, play this. Ooh, I can Acid Moss. Now let's just get the initiative into play. Hunter, trigger, trigger, trigger. I'm going to grab a force and over to them. And the next turn, we've got Boarding Party or Acid Moss. Probably Boarding Party, though. I don't think Gardens has anything to play on three other than Crypt Rats would be the only only thing. Crypt, yep, Crypt Rats. All right. Uh, I don't want to forge because they play Edicts and stuff. So let's Lost Well. Top cards are things I don't want to cascade into. So bottom, bottom. Drawing, Acid Moss. All right. Well, tap, 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 tap. Boarding Party, Cascade. Cascade into Thermal Cars to blow up your green land. Yep, they've conceded to that. Okay, so my blasts don't matter in this matchup, nor do my artifact removal spells. I mean, not really. Yeah, they play artifacts to sack, but the timing and the fact that they will almost always have instant speed mana up to sack stuff means that this is just bad. Breath weapon is also bad, so I board nothing. All right then. There's maybe an argument for Gorilla Shaman, although that just gives them yet another creature to kill. Although Gorilla Shaman is also sort of edict protection for the bigger stuff, but what would I cut for Gorilla Shaman? I don't think I would cut anything. All right. Well, no sideboard. Um, hmm. I don't like the fact that it has no mana acceleration, but other than that, it's fine. Keep. So we're going to go turn one Rhymewood, turn two Mountain, ice their land, and then figure out what we're doing from there. Swamp. Duress. Well, there goes ice. Play this. Go. Black, black, Limbus. All right. So the problem is we just have a very, very, very slow hand here. So now we're in a battle of attrition, which is not great against gardens. Play a tap land. Go. Especially on the draw with an initiative card in the hand. And if they just drop Thorn of the Black Rose on four, we're so far behind if that happens. Deadly Dispute the Limbus. You know what would have made Monarch and Initiative actually fair mechanics? If you only maintained the Monarch and Initiative while you control the creature that triggers it in the first place. And if the creature dies, then your opponent gets it or you, or you just lose it. Scredding a plant token doesn't seem great. So let's just play Elf. Black, Black, Black. Yeah, okay. This is going to be Thorn, right? Yep, scred this thing. Thorn dies, but they still get the Monarch. And I can't steal it because they have its plant to block. I'm not going to steal it anyway because I'm going to use my mana to play Hunter and get the initiative going. All right, tap, 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 untap this. Venging Hunter, get the initiative. And go grab the island that's in the deck. All right, over to them. We are not actually safe from having this stolen because they play the uh, Fanatical Offering that makes a map. So if they go Fanatical, kill your guy, map on here, make a counter, they can actually steal. Although I guess if they did that, it would probably take all their mana and then we could attack back with Arbor Elf. Cast down Avenging Hunter. Deadly Dispute, the treasure, not the plant token. Because again, they, they need blocks, I guess. Maybe not. Tithing Blade, yeah, kill our Arbor Elf. So we've got the initiative, they've got the Monarch. But once again, in the battle between the two, the Monarch wins. Because drawing an extra card every turn is just so much better than what the initiative does for you on average. Anyway, Scry. Thermokarst is not really that helpful here. And we do want lands, but it's going to be a while. So we need to draw some action. So bottom that, bottom that. Drew Crimson Fleet. All right, that's an excellent draw. Play this, play the Crimson Fleet, trigger, steal the Monarch, go to our end step. I was thinking I was tapping through this or clicking through this rather than just F6 because if we drew Scred, I might kill this plant. But there's actually no way I'm killing this plant because if they just untap and play Troll or something, I need to kill that too. But we didn't draw Scred anyway. Another thing with the Monarch and the Initiative is because the cards that that have them are so good and they're like just so hard to beat engines, it actually incentivizes more decks to play them so that if your opponent has them, you can steal by just playing an ETB trigger creature. Crypt Rats, okay. 
So they can kill the field, but their plant token will die with them, which I'm fine with. Rot farm, I just presume bouncing colony garden. Yep. So I think attacking is pointless. Anyway, let's stash, make the treasure. Okay, so I'm gonna play Altasaur. Tap, Utopia, Sprawl, naming blue, I think. Maybe that's not correct. I have enough green sources, yeah, let's name blue. And then we can go tap here, tap here, tap here, tap here, tap here, pop the treasure, play Altasaur. I wanna do this now because there's potential one that we hit boarding party into. I wanna figure out whether I'm attacking based on what I'm cascading into. Acid Moss, your rot farm. All right, so there's gonna pop Crypt Rats, sure. Well, the Altasaur hits the board and then we still have initiative plus Monarch. I'm surprised they would pop that now. I think I would, if I were them, I might have waited. I guess it depends on what they need to do because we're going to get the skeleton next turn. So they could have waited to kill that as well, but maybe they just need to use all their mana. Also, if they have an edict, then they need to edict this thing. And so therefore the other creature has to be gone. Colony Garden returns, makes a plant. No actions. All right, make a skeleton, Arbor Elf. All right, tap this and this and this and this. And this, and actually one more, hang on. This, and this, and this. Altasaur, Cascade, two mana. No, not two mana. Wait for the Cascade to resolve. Boarding Party, Cascade, Acid Moss, one of your swamps. I'm doing this because they barely have any green cards in their deck, actually. May as well just take them off black mana. I mean, not take them off, but you know. Reckoner's Bargain, eat a thing, sure. Reduce the amount of black mana they have, why not? Grab a forest. Yeah, I figured. The fifth and final round on the draw. Okay, we got ramp, we got payoffs, we're good. Mm, the weirdest mountain I've ever seen. All right, Ugh. no plays means Arbor Elf's liable to die. I'm not doing anything next turn anyway with the Sprawl, probably, unless we happen to draw Thermokarst. So let's just play Elf. And if they kill it, they kill it. Over to them. They did not kill it. Green, right of, oh, it's the initiative deck, gotcha. Sticker Goblin, six mana. Sticker Goblin, nine mana. Boarding party, uh-huh. Cascades into what? Rite of Flame, sure. Rite of Flame, they somehow have six mana still after all that. Bolt our guy. Turn two. Yeah, all right. Um, So we're practically, we're dead in two hits. Oh my God, we drew Scred. But I can't actually kill this until next turn. So we take 10, go to four. And then even if I Scred this, I still die next turn. Wow, that sucks. What in the world do I have to draw to not die? I have to not play Utopia Sprawl. I have to draw like another burn spell. So I have to ent for a red land and play it tapped now. They attack me to four and then I have to draw a second. I have to draw fire ice or scred to not lose. All right, cycle ent, grab this, play this, back to them. Plays a tapped land, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. All right, moment of truth, do we draw? Actually, we ne might not even, yeah, we didn't draw. All right, that's the game. Even if we had, we would still just die to the, the last sticker goblin after all that. Okay, so blue blasts. And I think that's it. What do I not need? Well, I'm guessing since they're trying to just go off all at once, that land, that LD isn't as good. Although the fact that it's, they have depletion lands makes L, does make LD good. Fire Ice cannot kill anything but Sticker Goblin. It can tap their lands, which does matter though. So I'm gonna say, all right, what, what are the cards that are most likely to, if they line up correctly, win me the game? I'm gonna say if I LD them on curve, that is likely to win me the game. I'm gonna say that the expensive stuff is probably not as likely. Uh, so I'm thinking like the more expensive card draw spells like Mold Drifter, like it just doesn't block. It's five mana. So those, and then I'm inclined to say Altasaur as well, just cause it's so expensive. Maybe Altasaur, mm. there are worlds where like I evoke the Mold Drifter to try to find something. Hmm. Maybe I just cut all the Altasaurs. Because their creatures are Goliath, Hunter, and Crimson Fleet. Maybe I just cut three of these and... No, all, all four of these and keep Mold Drifter in. Okay, let's do that. Wow, that's not keepable. All right, mold this. Okay, we've got turn two Thermokarst. So I'm keeping this. What am I chucking? Not the boarding party because it's a payoff and Ent is basically a land. So let's just chuck one of the lands back because it's the most replaceable card here. All right, done. So land, wild growth, over to them. Come on, depletion land. Yeah, depletion land. Well, opponent, it's time to get depleted. Planes, right of flame off of a spirit guide into name sticker, into four mana, monomorphos, green and white. All their payoffs are, okay, good, whew. Like Crimson Fleet could have come off that, but they needed one more for initiative. Okay, Um. yeah, that seemed to work. Let's do that again. We've got blue blast and we've an tapped blue source on turn one, which is unfortunate 
unfortunate, but we're going to keep. The big thing to counter is Sticker Goblin. They also have a number of red payoffs. All right, Sandstone Needle. Rhymewood, hope we don't lose. Mountain, no. Nope. Sticker Goblin, yep. How much? Five. Sticker Goblin, seven. See, the amount of bullshit that this is is just insane. Why is this card legal? Okay, they're going to drop some huge thing now and we're going to lose. Avenging Hunter, we're dead. We don't have any way of fighting this. We have no creatures in play. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, it's totally fine. You can do this on turn two. All right, pedal. Wow, we got more to do after all this? No? Okay. I mean, we're not technically dead yet. They actually still have all this mana even after. What am I doing? I'm playing Arbor Elf and then holding Blue Blast up to just probably kill a Sticker Goblin. I don't know. I just have no follow-up, eh? All right, playing Arbor Elf. Back to them. They forge their Avenging Hunter. Yep, turns into a 7-6 Trampler. We probably have to blast a Goblin just to not take so much damage. Actually, I can blast this Goblin to potentially steal, although I don't know how helpful that is either. Sure, we'll take nine. Even if I steal, they just steal back, right? I guess it keeps Trap off for a turn. No, it doesn't, because then they just steal it back. All right, Blue Blast this Goblin. Oh my god, we drew Utopia Sprawl. All right, Sprawl. I still think that's just not helpful. All right, let's name him Red, and then let's attack them so we can get the initiative. Swing. Oh, wait, I thought I had more mana. No, I don't. I was calculating the Arbor Elf mana. I'm dumb. All right, this initiative. Actually, we're just dead, right? This is nine, and then they trap, and then we lose the game. What could I have done differently? I, the only creature I could play is Crimson Fleet, which just gets trampled through anyway. So I would have still died regardless. Yeah, all right, that's the game. Oh, another two, three. I think the goblin could be banned for power level concerns alone, but the minor discrepancy between online functionality and paper functionality for me makes it a complete pain. I don't mind that. I mind that it's busted. Maybe the only way to fix Monarch Initiative is an errata to something like if you have two or more opponents, so that it just does, so that it just straight up doesn't work in one v one. I would be accept. I would accept that. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the same thing as just banning it. So you don't need to. I mean, so there's no errata needed. You just ban them all. Anyway, uh, Teamer Cascade. So. I think the numbers need a little tuning. So Fire and Ice is okay, but I wish these were just more Screds. I feel like Scred is just better most of the time. Icing the opponent's land or like doesn't really come up. Sometimes one wanting something on Fire is good, but most of the time I just would have preferred if this was Scred. Uh, cascading, like having the better payoffs though is pretty good. Like having Lorien and Moldrifter as bigger payoffs. Although I can't help but feel like the problem isn't really that, like, okay, the Moldrifter draws cards, but then the body is just so irrelevant by the time you get to it that I feel like these would just be better off as other big creatures in the deck. Also, it all, it feels great whenever you cascade into a, into a threat. So I like the Lorien Revealeds, especially because they let you cascade into them. I don't like the Tap Lands. The Tap Lands, having them be really awkward and like having turns where you're just off curve because of these Tap Lands is not great. Although you'd have to play at least one of them, even in the Gruul version. Blue Blasts were fine. I'm just trying to figure out, like, does the power that you get from having these draws offset the losses that you're going to get from having awkward mana? It feels like just another variant of something you could do. I kind of wish there were more just actually good threats in here, or specifically ways of coming back from a losing position, because even, like, cascading into stuff isn't good when you're just in a losing position. Like, let's say your opponent has the Monarch or the Initiative, and then you, like, boarding party and you cascade the Moldrifter. That is many times just not even good enough to get you back into the game. They just go, okay, kill boarding party and then attack. Remember that game where we went Altasaur into boarding party into Avenging Hunter and it just didn't even matter? That's what I'm talking about. But Popper just doesn't have a Traxa level threats. It doesn't have a, you play this one thing and then it's huge. Maybe... I'm actually kind of attracted to Troll of Kaza Doom in like a Jun version, just because the troll is hard to block, just so that you can get through, like trying to be able to punch through and steal the initiative and Monarch from your opponent just seems so important. And the only cards that do that are like Annoyed Altasaur and Avenging Hunter with Trample. And even then it's often not good enough. I wish there was just like a bigger flyer or something that was unblockable in here so that you could always steal. Or if there was a Murmuring Mystic type card that you could flood the board with tokens. I'm not sure exactly what that would be. And I do think that like what the LD plan, I think is just bad. I think it only won me one game in the entire league that we played. And there's just so many times where these are dead top decks or there's a number of decks also that play on low mana. So like Fairies and Mono Red can play off of very, very few lands. Wanvoli is a little bit better than it also ramps you. But I think honestly, you're better off jettisoning the LD 
and playing more actual threats. And the Fire and Ices are not that good. I don't think they're a reason enough like on their own to warrant blue. I think these are the main reasons to play blue. But anyways, that'll do it for Teamer Cascade Ponza. Your media recommendation of the day is the movie Boiler Room. This is a somewhat old movie. I forget exactly when it is, if it's from the 80s or 90s. But if you've ever seen corporate crime, white collar crime movies like Wolf of Wall Street, this is sort of like that. It's the same concept. Young, up and coming, entrepreneurial type guy joins a financial firm that is full of all kinds of shady dealings that screw over their clientele and the story that unfolds from that. And yes, it has Vin Diesel, a very young Vin Diesel in it.